Oh, uh, yeah. About to get Ginobili. What do I see? 24K. That's a steely. About to get yo girl in a movie. Oh, uh, Manu Ginobili. Playing spread, getting smut on my team. About to cop a mill Lee. Crossed him over, Manu Ginobili. Hit in your face, see? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys like that rhyme right there. But today's cheap beast is definitely Manu Ginobili. He is the best Onyx player that I've played with so far. And I don't mean anything by terms of name like Tracy. I do have Tracy McGrady, but he's the most consistent shooter and player I've played with so far. So I didn't show you guys the stats in the beginning, and I'll tell you that throughout the video. Right now, Onyx Ginobili is an 89 overall, has an 86 mid-range jump shot he has a, a 85 standing shot three and 80 free throw which i don't understand a lot of the most consistent cards in the game don't have the best of free throws like uh michael jordan for instance he only has like an 83 free throw the ruby blake griffin that just came out has an 84 free throw like are you serious blake griffin has a better free throw than jordan but let's get off that uh he has 87 ball control 63 driving dunk 90 hands uh, 90 offensive consistency he is a very consistent card as you can see in the video i'm just giving manu ginobili the ball he's gonna cross up iverson he's just doing fadeaway perfect releases like he always gets perfect releases from me like a lot like he really does he has an 85 steal 86 hustle 90 lateral quickness and 90 speed for a manu ginobili that's actually pretty good especially if you want to drive in the paint if you want to do euro steps do the patent in euro like right here mid-range jump shot easy money wide open and usually you can use them at the small four position sometimes I do put them at the small uh, four position coming off the bench for Trace McGrady but since his jump shot is really smooth his form is really nice actually like I'm just pulling up in the middle like right there just easy money this guy is amazing now one of the biggest things that happens with this series is that i end up buying cards overpriced because i want to get this guy i want to get this series out to you guys i want to post as much as i can so i go on the market i buy this manu ginobili for around 24k but right now he's on the market for like 13 to 15k so don't worry about spending 20k it's actually like like 11 you can probably get one for 11k if you tried and watch for uh, auction refresh so i just want you guys to be aware about that on thursdays it's probably the cheapest to buy onyx players don't wait until uh like sundays i know on sundays the price really goes back up like i think ginobili probably be back at that 20k mark so if you guys really want ginobili make sure you guys go and buy them on the auction so uh yeah at the end of this game the stat line is going to be insanely crazy like you guys don't look at it like this is manu manu does this in game and it's because of that patch for cheese if you guys if you guys don't know, the patch for cheese is really evident in this game. Like you will make a lot of shots. As you see right here, I'm just I'm, I'm waiting for him just to foul Manu and let him get an and one. But he ends up getting the bucket to go. Easy layup. He's tired, right? I'm gonna cross him up, get right into the paint, and miss a dunk. Ma Manu misses dunks. He only has a 63 dunk. So don't be trying to go in and try to posterize people. But things like that he can do. The turnaround fadeaways. Just too much money in the oh my money oh my goodness he hit that shot he hit the shot yeah but Manu Ginobili best cons the most consistent cheap player I've played with he is really just a monster he really is a monster make sure you guys go out and pick him up yeah but look at this crazy stat line 61 points made 23 of his 35 shots 7 of 11 three pointer only missed two free throws Manu Ginobili is the best Onyx card we have had on this series. He's just a monster. I just I just don't understand. I don't understand where this guy is coming from. Who made him? <laughs> but yeah, if I was to give this card a rating, it'd be five stars. Offense, five star. Consistency, five star. Defense is four star because he is kind of small to be putting him at the uh, small four position. He's six six, which he should stay at the, the shooting guard position, but he's not big enough to like guard LeBron or some of the best players in the game. But just because he's Manu, he can make shots, he gets a, he gets a five-star rating. This guy is the biggest monster I have seen in this game. So make sure you guys like this video. Make sure you tell me in the comments who would you like to see on Cheap Beast. And thank you guys for watching.
Yeah.